Hi, today is Sunday 26th, and this is the SPX outlook for the coming week. This week is going to be pretty much eventful with with the large tech stocks, Facebook, Apple, Amazon, Google, uh, reporting earnings on the 29th and 30th. And also we have FOMC on Wednesday on 29th as well. So, so SPX can really move erratically in the second half of the week. Um, this is the four hour chart and we see that Friday, from Thursday to Friday, we finally saw, saw some the market drifting down, starting a potential correction went below 32.40, so indicating that maybe this was a, just a, sh a short-lived ex excursion and even tested 32.00, 32.04. This is, uh, we will see in the, the one-hour chart just now, this is um, the, this was just the immediate target. So the question is whether the market is ready to go lower. We are still in an upward channel. We can't call this heavy selling. Of course, this is also um, summertime. Although volumes have been holding pretty well in the last week, so we can expect this summer to be more or less like a normal month. In addition, we know that 70% of stock trading on the NASDAQ is now done by bots, artificial intelligence, growth in the trading. So we can assume that now trading in, in summertime is more or less the same as any normal month. Okay, so what do we see here? We see that we are still in this upper channel. I draw this line, but maybe this this channel boundary is more relevant. And if we look at the at the ceiling tables, the SPX stalled on 32.80 to retrace to about 32.00, so two times that 40-point quantum. And yes, it can go lower next week, 31.25 being a very strong test support level. At this point, of course. This the, the bearishness may be setting in, so we could see further drifting down. But we can't also we can't discard the markets trying to get back into a upper channel here. The 240 maybe it will be easier to see on the one hour chart. On this one hour chart, we see that the market penetrated the 3240, tested it for uh, uh, resistance, and then it fell to aim for 3200 where it was four. So you can see that the market tried to recover, but I would say that the bearish congestion to 3200 or maybe lower is the tone for the beginning of the week. We have a next FIB target on 3177, maybe a little bit lower. If we look at 3200, 40 point would be lower, would be 3160. So there may be some, some congestion on these levels and that would also equate more or less with this lower channel boundary here. Again, 31.25 to 31.34 may be a much stronger support going forward. If now the market bounces on 3200, we will see whether it can claw back above this channel line. And this is possible, of course, but relatively unlikely, at least at first. So for the coming day, Monday, maybe Tuesday, I would assume that the market will would not be able to rise back to 3240 or at least above 3240 and it may congest in this range and try and penetrate lower to 3165 3175 or lower now if we look at a longer time frame one day here we see that first red bar in a long time the, the market is looking at uh, taking profits and here as well we see the 3125 being the stronger support level it is still technically the resistance on this higher time frame, although it is more likely a pivot line, so looking at 31.20 as more or less a, a mid-range pivot from 32.80, so 160 point above, so that would mean that mid-range would be about 160 point below, and that would take us back to about here. So it's still a little bit far-fetched for now. But we know that we've got good support here and very strong support at around 31.25 before the market could possibly move to the lower part of the range. There is, of course, a lot of ominous clouds building up in the sky, and we know that there's most probably some strong correction brewing uh, in the background. 
some analysts would say it will not happen before end of August, September, but we have to be careful that it could happen any time in the next four to six weeks. I would say at this point that the market will probably try and, and congest here, or congest maybe up to here, but stay in the upper side of this large range. There's no indication that this channel is broken, only the first part, the top part of the channel has been challenged, but we are still in an upward channel overall. Okay, so to sum it up, this is just a little correction, waiting for confirmation to see whether the, the bears will allow this down movement to develop. We have fairly good key levels to, to monitor closely, 3200 being the first ones, and maybe 3160 to 3170. And definitely 3125, 3130 over the next few days. If now the tech stocks show very strong earnings, the market could, could definitely by midweek go back and try and aim higher to 3300 or more. Okay, that's it for this short SPX outlook. I will post probably one, two, sometimes three screenshots every day on the Rhino stack. So please. Uh, join it. It's still called the Rhino Slack, but um, I am now terminating the Rhino class service for Aramea, but I will carry on on my own and you can still join my personal Slack if you're interested. Okay, thank you for watching and enjoy this weekend. Bye for now.